everyone. Michael Palmer here again. Thanks for coming back. Those of you who have been here before, those of you who are new, um, thanks for checking this out. Uh, essentially what we're doing here is uh, I've decided to talk about each one of uh, the 16 books uh, that I've written and give you some insights into those books leading up to the publication of uh, Heartbeat Away, which will be coming out in February. Um, right opposite uh, the first novel by my son Daniel, Delirious, and um, it's possible that he and I will uh, go on tour together. Delirious is a thriller um, dealing with um, cyberspace and, uh, and Daniel's expert at this and uh, also about what somebody can do to you and your reputation if they know about computers and they want to hurt you. And the stuff is very, very, very scary. Uh, so I'm, I'll put in a plug for Daniel periodically, and now I'm going to put in a plug for me. Um, so these these books, we're now at, um, I don't know, maybe my eighth one, uh, which will be Miracle Cure today. Uh, and I, I hope that everybody listens, and I'll give you a question for each of the books, and I'll tell you what the question and the answer are. And whoever contributes the most answers that are correct will get a manuscript copy of my first uh, novel, uh, The Cory Prescription, which was never published in English. And uh, so I'm excited to have people read it. It's a little bit um, raggedy for sure. And it must be because my publishers in America keep refusing to, to publish it. Um, but uh, I've just decided that since there's been a really large response and a lot of people who have all the right answers, that I may end up um, offering a, a consolation prize for those people who don't win in a drawing. And that would be a choice of any of my books, um, personalized to whomever you want. Um, and I'll keep you posted about all that. So today uh, I want to talk about Miracle Cure a little bit. But before I do, I want to also show you something so you can all see it. Um, I've gotten back the notes from my editor uh, regarding the book, and I thought maybe you'd like to just sort of see, I can do this, what what notes from the editor looked like. And so I'll hold this thing up so you can see. These are, each one of these is, um, is one page. You can see on the top there that I've already done those two. Uh, there are uh, page after page after page of what are called notes from my editor. You can see a whole bunch of them. And um, I just go through them one at a time and very slowly try to answer all the questions and make all the changes. But compared to other books that I've had, this is the by far the fewest number of changes. Uh, so let's talk a little about Miracle Cure, which I loved uh, for a number of reasons. I love writing it. It's about a, uh, in part, about a doctor who uh, has had trouble with alcohol and, and uh, especially with drugs as a result of a football injury to his knee um, and his father, his relationship with his father. And at the time I wrote this book, uh, my father was in fact dying of, uh, of cancer and I wrote a lot from the heart about, about him and about uh, how I felt about him in the book. And uh, basically, Miracle Cure got its uh, birth when a uh, Nobel laureate at uh, MIT was uh, accused of cheating on his research. Um, as it turns out, he wasn't the one who was cheating, but somebody who worked in one of his labs was, in fact, falsifying data. And I got to thinking about um, how much academic cheating goes on and how interesting that would be as a subject for a novel, so I began to create a novel around that, and I needed a drug to begin with, and basically came up with a drug that um, essentially can stop or cure arterial sclerosis, hardening of the arteries. And the name of the drug, and this is the question for the day on this book, is VASCLEAR, V-A-S-C-L-E-A-R, meaning clearing out blood vessels. And uh, basically it's about a, uh, a a drug company with uh, bad roots, some bad people who own it, who are um, hot on how much money, billions of dollars, this drug will be worth, 
until they discover that some people who are taking the drug are dying. And they make a decision to um, put the drug out anyhow onto the market with the belief that by the time the world figures out that, um, that the drug might be harmful, um, they'll have already made their incredible uh, millions and billions of dollars. And then they realize, wait a minute, we could put out a drug that was just water and, and people would not have any bad side effects. And by the time the world realizes that the drug isn't working, uh, you know, as we know, whenever we read about a drug, we, it says, well, it works 70% of the time. Well, that means that 30% of the time it doesn't work. And there's no way the, the world can really easily realize that it's actually 100% of the time that it doesn't work. And by the time that reputation catches up with the drug, the company will have made millions and millions of dollars, billions of dollars. And unfortunately for, uh, for them, our hero um, gets in the way of, of this. And... Um, he was originally hired because he had had a drug problem and this company felt that they had a hook in him and they could control his behavior. So basically, that's what the book's about. I think it's a great book. I think you'll have fun with it. And, um, and I'll be interested in feedback from you. So thanks very much uh, for tuning in again. And I look forward to seeing you in another uh, week or two. Um, have a great day.